So modernism in all the arts was focused on what are the raw materials we make things from. Famously, Clement Greenberg wrote about this. In the abstract expressionist era, the central concern of painting should be literally paint. What are the essential qualities of this form? To say that he was critical of Rockwell and his contemporaries would be a gross understatement. Rockwell is a modern genre painter. I would say that the contingency of Rockwell is tightly tied to the Saturday Evening Post. It is a magazine cover and the image is designed to sell a magazine. But Rockwell is creating images from nothing to create an interesting narrative. That is more art-like than the illustrator responding to a story. At that point, we all thought we were abstract painters, or at least I did. And so when I got out of Pratt in 1960, my paintings were all abstract. I went to Europe, I painted for a while, I played in a band, and he began to realize that I was not really connected to abstraction, that, that I admired it. For me, it had no resonance. That got me into illustration. I right? coming back thinking, now what? For illustrators coming onto the scene in the era of abstract expressionism, who liked the energy and the rawness of Abex, there was a contingent led by Robert Weaver that had a certain rawness of touch but also grittiness of realism. The images that Rockwell created and that his contemporaries created were totally artificial. They were more like putting on a play than looking at the world and responding to it. So these journalistically motivated illustrators were after something radically different. When I started then painting, figuratively, all the gallery dealers said to me was, you become too visible as an illustrator. And I said, nobody in illustration is telling me what to do. They're still like giving me work to do and telling me to do anything I want with it. I said, it's paying the rent. And they said, well, we understand that, but it's ruining your career. Abstraction was never a part of it for me. Uh, the major influence in my life was Edward Hopper. I was connected to him in some way. I could never explain it. I still can't explain it. But it, but it was very, very inspirational, the work, the work he was doing. I was always interested in, in the graphic arts. I uh, became an art director in my 20s. Worked at Young and Rubicam. It was a happy period of learning and meeting people and creating ads, headlines. In the process of, of being in the center of Manhattan, uh, there were shows that came and left, and that, that definitely influenced me and put, put ideas in my head. Uh, and there was a point when you, you just know that it's time to leave the one business and get into another. Well, it's funny, I wanted to be an illustrator when I went to art school. Of course, that position that was no longer available. For realist painters like I wanted to be, they were not very supportive of old style training and academic uh, development because they were very much into neo-expressionism. They were of the moment at the time. So I had to go find these guys that, that taught more traditionally. There's something fascinating in virtually anything and you really don't have to travel the world to find it. It's quite often you know, about four feet from your left foot. Just the thrill of a, of a new city or being in a you know, downtown area. Once I saw Times Square and you know, what was possible, it was a short step to the canvas for me. In this fast-paced world, somebody can throw something together on a computer and call it a painting. Artists like Eric Forsman and Bob Cottingham, the fact that they had the skill and they take the time. I think as time goes on, I think they'll be appreciated even more. We hit this block, 
been around forever, this block. Does that make sense? I think abstract expressionism widened the gap between these fields. I think the issue is really, can you find an outlet for what you really want to do? And if what you really want to do is tell stories, you'll find an outlet. You'll find it in the fine art world, or you'll find it on the print page or on the internet. So we're seeing a lot of digital stuff that's beginning to look the same. That'll get tiring to people, and we'll see a return of something else. I mean, maybe realism again. I mean, I have to think if you dump Norman Rockwell into this pool at this time, he would succeed. <laughs> I mean, realism is not dated. It's just fashion. I mean, that's what people get tired of.